Hello everyone, and welcome back to Quest for Glory 5. Um, where we are heading back out into the overworld. Where <laughs> things are still broken it seems. Um, so there's that. Um, so there are a few things to discover out here on the overworld. Um, the first one of these is the symbol here of the dragon head. Which is, uh, the strong radiant evil coming from that temple. So, um, this is, uh... Hang on, I can't even attack these stupid bats very well. Oh my god, I hate... Uh, it's very, very hard to aim at these stupid bats with a physical weapon. Um, do I have... I got frostbite in the last game, right? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I did. So, this uh, is actually not working as well as I had thought it would. Because he's not aiming up like he's supposed to be. There he goes. Got him. Okay. Only ever been able to kill those things by using frostbite. And so that was a problem. Find nothing of value on the body. Alright. So uh, the reason that we are here though, um, aside from the fact that this is very clearly <laughs> the uh, um, thing from the opening uh cinematic there uh, this is where the uh, the blood of a dragon blood of earth whatever you want to call it is so there's that so the ring of the last king that was worn by the last king of Samaria so that's the first step in getting our ring of truth <coughs> Um, there should be something else up here, too. Yes, here it is. This was the other reason I wanted to come out here, which is... This. Pegasus. So, uh, you saw the dragon statue in the previous area. There is also a dragon statue out here, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's, I mean, there's dragon statues everywhere. There is a Pegasus. Marvelous creature looks like a horse with wings. Must be the legendary Pegasus. So we need to get, uh, go ahead and fill up one of our amphora with the, uh, the water here. Yay! Hippocrene water! Good, good. And now we need to make our way up to here. Because um, the apothecary, who, by the way, I just kind of realized I totally forgot to go visit. Um, he, uh, he needs this. Um, I don't remember how to do this. But I, have, I have to stand down here and knock that down, I think. Um, I mean, there is another option of how to get up there, but I don't think I can climb. Even though I have good climbing skill, I don't think I can climb up there. Um, a lot of this, uh, a lot of the Quest for Glory games, one of the things they do is that a lot of the puzzles are different depending on your class, which is nice. Um, there's uh, a few good aspects to that. So, um, 
So I think normally I would just throw a rock, but I don't have any rocks. So I'll just try to cast the Force Bolt spell. That's... It's acting like I'm hitting it. It's making the noise, but it's not working. Um, and I don't have any rocks, and it seems like I can't pick any up around here, so that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, da 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 da! Sorry, trying to figure this out. Um, I don't have the levitate spell, so I can't just fly up. Oh no, I do have the levitate spell. Hang on, can I just do that? Like, can I just levitate? I don't think I can do it from here. I think I have to do it from another spot. Hit upwards the level of the cliff path. I won't be able to move sideways to get onto the trail. Okay. Um, yeah, because I have to do a thing. Also, I'm out of mana. And I have no mana potions or anything. But I think... And don't quote me on this. I think this water will help with that, but I don't exactly remember. <laughs> you know, taking a drink of these waters, you feel incredible joy and excitement. It's as if you've been reborn. You feel like you can face any monster or challenge and be victorious. This is great. Okay. That just gave me a boost. Like, revitalized my stamina and gave me some, like, step boosts. That's all it did. Well, let's see. Can I just fetch spell? I mean, maybe not because of how far away I am, but... Don't quite see your target object from this distance, so can I cast that spell? I'm trying to remember how to knock the thing over. I think... I think if I just use a rock, but again, I don't have any rocks, and the game's not letting me pick any up here. So. Um. I don't remember how. I don't, uh, I don't know what to do here, actually. I legitimately do not know. Just trying to see if there was some spot. That was like, oh yeah, you can pick up rocks here or whatever, but nah, doesn't look like it. Um, so having the pillar closely, you read the following inscription. By the raising of the stone, the dragon now sleeps. I think that's what they all say. So. My force bolt spell didn't work on it. I'm trying to think, because again, I don't have any rocks. Um, again, it might work, the, the rock, but I don't have any. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I do have that would work, and I'm not seeing any. New strength, all spell. Yeah, no, I don't think there is. So I would have to go pick up some rocks. Well, we can come back and do the Pegasus another time, I suppose. Um, so I can't seem to find any rocks here. And, you know, good luck finding anything like that. Since Also, since my Force Bolt spell didn't seem to want to work, so... But I can't just, like... Whoa! I am out of magic. You can die. And you can die. Stamina bills and drachmas. Spearhead and drachmas. That's not helpful. Can I like pick up rocks here? Really now? Is there like only one place in the game where you can actually pick up rocks? All the other quests for glory games are just like, oh yeah, you can just click on the ground and you'll pick up rocks. But it kind of seems like in this game there's only one location 
that lets you actually... I would really prefer not to fight you guys, thanks. Just trying to see if there's like... Okay. There's, there's little mini dragons. And I would rather not... So a dragon carved on top of a pillar of marble. What's this? Hang on. Picked up the shell. Okay. I think I've ever seen that before. R.I.P. Can I just like awe spell these guys? Hang on. Okay. I don't know what just disconnected. Yep. There you go. <laughs> That's the awe spell for you. O.P. Bye bye. That uh, that that's the spell for you. Yeah, that's uh, that's the off spell. Um, actually, since I've got a spot to rest, let me take a quick rest here. Like an hour long rest, and I guess we'll just do this weird non-walking thing again because that's the thing that's been happened uh, where is my destroy undead spell ow paladins though This is thrown over. The bottom looks the same as the top. Okay, but I wanted to actually, like, pick up a rock. Not... whatever. <sighs> so, there's a great big overworld in this place. Here is another one. Carved stone pillar has a strange ominous appearance. Just looking at it gives you the feeling that powerful magic must be involved with this dragon pillar in some mysterious way. So, this is a very interesting place as its whole purpose isn't revealed till later. Um, granite wall is unnaturally cold to the touch. It has a wet, slimy feel and sends a chill down your spine. Alright, well, okay. I mean, there's not really much else to do out here. Because, um, again, we did the Pegasus already, so... Ah, oh, crap. You know what? I'm just not... I could just use the awe spell, but I just, I'm just not going to fight those things. Screw that. I'll come back. No! Freaking bats. Go away. Red and Tower opens the park glass for you. Alright. It is 1.30. Here's your key on the door. And into our room. I suppose I could use the Mystic Magnet. I didn't even think about that. Oh well. I don't remember that I have that most of the time. You're getting hungry. Some food would go down nicely right about now. So in this game, you only really have to worry about eating maybe once a day. Um, as long as you eat once, you're pretty much good for the whole day. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll get... You'll only ever get that message once a day, as long as you eat regularly, basically. And you don't have to eat like five times a day, like in the other games. Today, we are having macaroni and cheese. Plain old macaroni and cheese. I gave the cooks the day off. Hmm, yeah, this tastes good or you've been around No Man's in way too long. That's what happens when the uh, the cooks don't cook. 
and can cook just fine all by herself and things work out well so let's check and see if anybody is at the adventurers guild today as one of the other NPCs called it I don't remember which NPC that was adventurers guild wasn't that in quest for glory 4 actually oh wow there's actually nobody here that's actually surprising. I thought somebody was supposed to be here today. I like this track. It is very common for me to do this in this game. And just grind on this thing until I'm at 500 strength. Because 500 is the maximum of any skill in this game. So, which in, a, in of itself is also the maximum in the series. As this is the last game in the series. So, but yeah, it's, it doesn't take very long. You, you, you know, double click it so that you run, you hop on there, you, <coughs> I've been stopping myself, but usually I go until the game kicks me off at itself, see, it stops you once you hit zero stamina, so, and then you, like, you can't overwork yourself, which is nice, so, Like, if you try to hop on here when you have no stamina, it's just like, you're too exhausted. So you can't, like, kill yourself on here, you know? See? Already, uh, already working out that, uh, already working out that strength. Just about got maximum strength. So that's kind of nice. Like, it doesn't take very long, so, plus... I, I'm waiting until like 5 o'clock anyway, because there's something... I have to go visit the, uh... The Dead Parrot Inn. Go check out my winnings, you know? 484. I go check out my winnings. Because, I mean, we also won, so... I don't know about who won on day 3, obviously, because we weren't here to watch that one, but... Elsa won, and I bet on Elsa, so I should have some money. And I know that I will win in the next match on day five, so there you go. Uh, 495 strength is not bad. Is it going to kick me off when I hit 500? No. I, I should have hit 500 by now, so... Oh, 504. Oh, okay. I guess I can go higher than... Maybe it's 600 then. I don't know. I know that there's a limit. Doesn't matter. We is good. I want to save some stamina after all. I still don't get why bribing him... Like... I don't get why that... Earns you honor. It doesn't make any sense to me. Goodbye, ladies. I have no interest in talking to any of you. Also, this dude over here. Um, uh, I won one bet for 400 and I lost one for negative 30. <laughs> Coquino won instead of Toro. Um, oh, we gotta go watch uh, today's match, actually. In that case. Because, uh, it's Magnum Opus that is competing today. We have to go watch his match. After all, he is Magnum Opus. <laughs> he is the best fighter. So, yeah. We, we have to go watch him. Um, do I have stamina potions? I seem to recall something about having stamina potions. Ah, stamina pill. That'll be, that's good enough. I just don't want to waste 
more time than I need. Excuse me. Oh, we should uh, come. Uh, we should go stop by the bank tomorrow. Go, uh, go talk to Sam. You know, and find out how things are going. Totally forgot to do that yesterday, day three. Five drachmas to watch fight. My greetings to all of you. Welcome to the arena and tonight's spectacle of deadly combat. Tonight, the champion of this contest is someone most of you know. I go ahead and skip over Lady Kokino's introductions. We've seen it already. I, Kokino Bukamiso, shall defend the honor of the guards of Silmaria. To challenge our champion comes a deadly warrior. I summon Magnum Opus to battle. That said, I'm very surprised that Kokino beat Toro. I, Magnum Opus, brilliant tactician and strategist, shall demonstrate to all in Sumaria that I am unsurpassed in my combat skills. I shall defeat all who challenge me. Ave Ferrari. I, who shall make my opponent die, salute you. Since it's not a fight to the death. Contest begin. Eh, whatever. It's a funny, it's funny that he says that line though. But it was surprised me that Kokino beat Toro because Kokino, I mean, look at him. <laughs> he deals like no damage ever. Uh, um, Magnum? <laughs> Are you all right there, bud? There, yeah, see? Like, how did Kokino lose? How did Kokino beat Toro? I, I don't understand. Tonight's victory. Kokino almost oh. always loses. That's why I was so certain. I was like, I can just bet a straight on the right side of the board here, you know? Kokino almost always loses. So it was so surprising when I went back and was like, wow, Toro lost. I bet that if I had watched the fight, Toro would have won. There's something in the game that does do that. Like, when you're watching the fights, you actually, like, witness them. And so it, like, changes how the fight plays out. I've, not I've noticed that that happens. So. Or at least, if it doesn't happen, um, the fights just change randomly. Because um, sometimes they do one thing, sometimes they do another thing. Oh, hi, Ogarte. Ah, it is good to see you. You are finding your way around this fair city, <clears throat> I trust. It is amazing what some people will pay for the right information. Why, just today, I sold someone some secrets about his wife that he did not know. <laughs> Poor man. I'm afraid they did not make him happy. R.I.P. Oh, Signor Ferrari is probably at the arena tonight. He enjoys witnessing the combats. He also enjoys the money so many people are willing to pay to watch these combats. Myself, I am not interested in watching such brutality. You seem to think that information is free. However, I will let you know that a certain attractive young woman has been asking about you. You seem to be quite popular with the ladies, no? I'm in this game, yeah. Business together. You always seem to be in the middle of things. I am always happy to play the role of a middleman. Alright. Um, I don't know if this affects your honor, so I'm going to save. Oh, thank you. You are very generous. Well. Okay. Um, well, I guess regardless of whether that affects my honor, which it doesn't look like it did, um... Yeah, I just gave him money for no reason, apparently. I think I have to wait till he actually says, like, I have information for you if you buy it. Good to see you again. Will you join me in a toast to the salt seas of Silmaria? You want to be knowing more about me? 
Well, I lost me arm when a great white shark decided I might make a tasty snack. Might say it disarmed me, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, if you hadn't noticed, he's missing an arm here. Silmari is the land of adventure. See for yourself, lad. The sea right now be dangerous. Besides the sea monsters looking for tasty bits, there's the sea folk who be attacking ships. It ain't safe for travel. Nice talking to ya. Let's go talk to uh, Navar. Mm, what can I get for you? Don't want to know what today's special is again. Retsina. Greek coffee. Smells very strong and taste and looks like mud. The well, one thing I do know is that the Greek coffee, um, it, it kind of acts similar to like a stamina potion. So. I'll buy some. You certainly have a way with words. I wish he had his way with me. I know what I like, and I like what I see. Ferrari better not hear you say such things. It seems, Nawar, that Ferrari wouldn't be the only jealous person around here. Always flirting describes Nawar to a tease. Today's special is rum and croak. It'll get rid of a frog in the throat. And I've been told it's pretty good. It's not the size of the sheath, but the skill with the sword that counts. Come back soon. Come back often. Come back often. That one is a flirt. It's my evening. I'm always feeling fine when you're around. Buddha and I have known each other for longer than a girl is willing to admit. Ferrari brought us here from Razir. He's ruthless, cunning, and deceitful. Those are his good points. <laughs> Ugarte is a sneaky little twerp who knows everything about everybody. One day, he's going to learn something he shouldn't, and someone will teach him to mind his own business. Yeah, uh, indeed. It takes is a little toss, and the house takes a loss. If you are as good as you seem to be, you can't lose. Gotta go so soon? We were just starting to get to know each other. So the main reason I did not pick to flirt with Nawar there is because of the fact that uh, you actually can indeed build up relationship with her. Um, by the end of the game, you do have the ability to get married to you know, one character of your choice, um, depending on... Uh, it's between a set of four characters, Nawar being one of them. And since I don't want to go for Nawar, I don't want to build relationship with her. So, meanwhile, Budar there, you, uh, you don't have to worry about her. Um, even if you try to, like, romance Budar, because it is possible to, like, try to build up your relationship points and such... But if you try to actually marry, like, get to the point where you could tr uh, attempt to marry her, she's just like, yeah, no, sorry. Like, she's just not interested, basically, so. Also, in case you saw something weird going on over here, there is a ghost that lives here. Uh, I haven't figured out anything that you can do with the ghost. I, I don't know if there's any way to, like, you know note that the ghost is there and like interact with it or anything I've tried several times but never like gotten anywhere with it so I don't I don't know I've heard rumors that there is but I don't know for sure you won one bet for 77 drachma alright not bad I will make a lot more drachma today though because I will be ooh, distinct prickling on the nape of your neck as though something wicked is near. So you'll notice that I rested until 12 or 11.30 anyway and then you know waited till 12. Um, that's because at 12 o'clock the dead parrot in closes and it updates the board. Um, whoops. Right. I can't, uh, I forgot I can't take the, uh, the mugs out. So, they don't quite work as stamina potions in that regard. But I think, glad I only bought, uh, one Grecian 
co uh, one great coffee anyway. But yeah, I think that there's a way to like um do uh, I think there's a way to um uh I, I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, I think the, uh, the Greek coffee works like stamina potions. And that, in that if I were to drink it while I was low on stamina, I think it would recover my stamina back up. So, I think. I don't know for sure. It's been quite a long time since I last played this game, so. Go ahead and sleep for eight hours. And the main thing that you don't want to do is forget to go to the Colosseum when it is your turn to fight. So, since it's now day five, um, I have to stay here in Silmar. You have to make sure that I'm, you know, handling things well. I think we'll go to uh, Folos and buy us a spear. And we can use that as a lever to... Uh, Get into Science Island. The soup for tonight oh, is I just noticed rice. the time. Rover brought in a huge lobster for dinner, but Messy Tessie couldn't bear to drop the lobster alive into the boiling pot, so the cooks decided to get the lobster drunk first. Soon they were all singing Little Brown Jug with the lobster singing harmony. While Tessie was reaching for the barrel of beer, she knocked over the flower, which soon covered everything. So they gave the lobster a bath and a group hug for being such a good sport and turned him loose. Then, they made the soup from his bath water. Read it quickly. Content that at least you didn't pay anything for food. <coughs> Lobster brisk. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I did just notice the time, as I said. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and end off this episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episode you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.